Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. I'm going to make a quick tutorial today on how to make a bootable DMG uh, USB for your MacBook. Now recently I worked on a MacBook 2012. I'll do, I'll do a separate video uh, kind of guiding you step by step on uh, as to how I booted the Mac. The issue was the uh, gray folder with a question mark and I was unable to uh, boot into the Mac. But without further ado, let's get this started. So first I'm going to plug in my USB and I have a couple of files on here just to show you. And so I'm going to right click here. Now make sure it's a 16 gig. I've tried it with the 8 gig. They're not exactly um, 8. It was like 7.3 and I had issues. So I would advise a 16 gig. I'm going to right click on that. I'm going to format and then I'm going to click this right here. Restore device defaults. Older version of Windows you might see a little uh, check box but make sure that's selected there. Default allocation size. Quick format of course. We're going to go OK. And that's going to take a quick second and it's going to format and it'll tell you format complete. There we are. And format is complete. So this part is done. Next let's make sure that our USB is partitioned properly for Mac. So uh, let's hit start. I'm going to hit CMD for command prompt. Right click, run as admin, and you'll see the command window pop up here. And I am going to type disk part. So this is going to access our disk partition. So there it is, disk part. Then I'm going to hit or type rather list disk. And these are all the disk drives listed here. And you'll notice that, you know, it starts from zero. Um, rule of thumb, I usually use the size allocation, so it's 14 GB. It's actually a 16 GB drive, but you know, it's never exactly on the dot the way that they're designed with the technology. So obviously I'm not going to mess with any of these big boys here. Those are my primary drive. So 14 GB, this, that, that's what I'm going to use. So I'm going to, in my case, I'm going to select disk three, the 14 gig one, and that's selected. Then I'm going to clean. So it's going to wipe it. And now I'm going to convert that to GPT um, partition for Mac. That's done. And after I do that, I'm going to hit create partition primary. So make that the primary partition and it succeeded. And then you can go ahead and exit out of that. And that's done. And you'll notice if you go back, um, to the drive here, obviously Windows is kind of confused as to what's happening because we are setting this up for Mac. Next step, of course, we're going to go over to Google and we're going to search for TransMac. So this is the software we're going to use um, to make the bootable USB. I'm going to go to TechSpot here, right here, and I'm just going to click download now. So this is going to download the software and you're going to go ahead and install that. So once you have TransMac installed, you're going to run it. So I'm obviously not going to read the view readme and it's going to launch TransMac for the first time. It is a trial. Don't worry about that. Um, it'll, you know, take 10 seconds every time that you open it for it to load, which I mean, it's, it's, it's not going to bug you at all. I'm going to hit run and it's going to open this web page, which I'm not interested in right now. And this is the Lexar USB that I'm working with. So, You'll notice that when I, if, if you click it, it says no Mac volumes found because we have to set up a Mac volume. We'll go back, right click, I'm gonna go format disk for Mac. We gotta do this again. And it's gonna say, do you want to? I'm gonna say, yeah, yes, of course, leave all that as it is. Uh, untitled, I leave everything as default and that's gonna do its thing. If you don't run it as admin, so if you don't, right click on TransMac or if the first time you launch it and, and it, it opens and you don't have admin permissions, it it may ask you, you have to restart TransMac as admin. But I already started it as admin and that's why I didn't get that message. Alrighty, the next step, probably the most important step of this tutorial is you have to make sure that you have a bootable DMG uh, Mac file. They are available online. They're a bit tricky to find. Um, as I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I worked on a 2012 MacBook Pro, the 15 inch Retina, the A1398 model. 
um, and I was able to find it online and when I make the um, second video on as to how I did the, how I restored the Mac step by step then I will put a link in the description or I'll link it to my Google Drive so whoever needs help can can find that and download that so I'm gonna right click again on the Lexer USB I'm gonna hit restore with disk image hit yes and I'm gonna browse to my computer as to where it is it's going to be on my desktop and if it doesn't show up here when it says disk image file I'm gonna hit all files and there it is Mac OS High Sierra I'm gonna hit open and I'm gonna hit OK here and it's gonna tell me that's gonna format this is gonna take two to three minutes so uh, be patient with that when you're doing it I'm just gonna let it do its thing let it do its thing till it's finished and once that's complete it'll say restore complete I'm gonna hit OK and if you go back here I don't even see the, the drive anymore why because it's formatted for Mac so Windows doesn't even pick it up unless of course if you run the command uh, for disk part again but we're not going to do that so that's basically how you would create a portable USB for Mac and in the next video I will do a step-by-step -step as to how I use this to restore and uh, finally reinstall Mac OS and as always if you found this uh, useful or helpful uh, leave me your comments below and don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more cool content. And of course, stay well, be safe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Peace.